this is not the right way to start your Friday. We've been dead stop here for the past hour and a half. I don't know what's going on at the bridge. Damn, look at that. Look how long that line is. Oh, I know they're happy they're not on this side. Let's go, it's picking up a little bit. I usually pass through here before 7 a.m. and it's about to be 9 a.m. It's picking up, but not enough. 9.07, we're still here. We are definitely making some progress. What is going on here? Look at this. We finally made it. We crossed to the Bronx and now we can start our route. We made it to our stop, 10 o'clock. I'm officially three hours late, which means I gotta get on beast mode. So we're gonna pick this video up later, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I found a car wash. All right, so if you live in New Jersey or you live in New York, you know that these type of self car washes are very hard to find. So this one is near my house. I used to know of one, but it was 30 minutes away. So it's kind of hard to go over there every time. But now that I found this one, I'll probably be here a little bit more often. Look at all that dirt, but we're gonna get rid of this. And the reason why this car wash is special is because I can fit my high route transit with no problems. It's a little expensive, but hey, I'm here already. Let's get some change. Six minutes for seven dollars? Damn. First time watching the transit and it is a little bit of a workout and we also need more money. All right, so we still gotta do this side, then we gotta do the wheels and we're gonna rinse it off. I don't know about you guys, but she's looking pretty good. And welcome to Home Depot. All right, I had to go outside and grab these. All right, so this is what we're here for. We're gonna get three sheets of play wood and I'm gonna be protecting the rear of my cargo van with this play wood. Play wood, plywood, I don't care. All right, so we're gonna lay it down here. Also, we gotta clean these when we get back, it's nasty. Thank you. Can I have the other one, please? Oh, thank you very much. Give me a high five. Give me. All right, so we got these nice and clean, thanks to my little helper. And now we're gonna go ahead and install these. I'm trying to cut this corner out, so when I put it here, it's gonna be flush. I don't have a saw or anything, so I'm using this to cut it. All right, I think we got it. It's really easy. I've never done this type of jobs, but you just gotta go a couple times over and then just fold it. All right, so I got all the pieces cut out. This is gonna protect this side 
and this one is gonna go right on here this is only two boards i still have another one that i haven't used i'll probably just use half of it just to cover this door right here and that's about it we're heading back to home depot because i got the wrong screws there goes my dream car cut out for these bees right here all right guys so this is what the final results looks like this side is protected and this side is protected I still gotta do some tweaks tomorrow. I'm tired, I've been all over the place today. Now, the reason why we are protecting the inside is because we wanna avoid more dents like this. Now, this didn't happen to me, it happened to my driver, but I can't be mad, this is a work truck. I spent a total of $60.78 for this whole protection here. I just wanted to show you a quick way to protect your cargo van and avoid getting those type of dents. Who knows, maybe you wanna resell it in the future and you wanna get as much money as possible. So you gotta take care of your cargo van. And then tomorrow I gotta to do this piece right here. All right, one last view before I go home and part this baby. It looks kinda of cool with the cardboard divider I have there. But we did a good job today, guys. We did a good job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday. The weekend is over and I'm back on the road. I'm working today. I want to show you how these things are doing today. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're packed today. We're very, very full. We picked up a lot of empty containers and I was able to stack them up a little higher than usual because I have this protection. Now, the thing is when I fall into a pothole or when I take a turn, all of these shake up and they end up hitting the sidewall. But with this protection, I'm going to be fine. So this gives me a peace of mind because I can now give it to my driver feeling more comfortable knowing that the sidewalls are protected i ain't no pro but that corner came out nice anyways guys let me go drop my last stop this is one stop and all these boxes gotta be manually delivered using this hand truck but at the end of the day it's not so hard when you have the right tools for the job anyways thanks for watching guys let me get a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content and don't forget to stay hustling